Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Baptiste. I have a trade idea for you today. The 29th, the 29th of October. Don't get scared by Halloween coming up on Thursday, which we will also have another Option Trades today for you. But today, I've got not one, but two trades for you. So don't, please, don't sign off after the first one or you'll miss the second one. But like we always do, let's take a look at what the market's doing. E-mini S&Ps are up $2, basically unchanged. NASDAQ up 100 That's a half a percentage point move to the upside. Russell doing exactly the opposite, down just about half a percentage point, a little bit more. And the Dow down 100 Volatility in by $0.15. Cents. 1861 uh, Flirted with 19 earlier today, but as you can see here on the right side of the screen, trading down near its lows. Bonds cannot catch a bid down another 24 ticks. Look at this move. Remember, a bond point is $1,000, not $100. So you basically have gone from 127 to 117 That's a $10,000 move, 10-point move in a very small period of time. They're either raising rates or somebody's going to get caught with some short bonds. But let's look at the equity side of things, and here's what I'm going to do. Like I always do, I like to go to our watch list. I like to look at the uh, IVX five-day change. I want that to be green, but we're going into earnings season. So for me, I've got to click this little uh, earnings at right here and get rid of all of those earnings and look for stocks that have a relative high IV rank and avoid those earnings. One of those stocks that I found is JP Morgan. JP Morgan, when you go down here to take a look at the list, IV rank is up small, just about half a percentage point. Uh, the IV rank is 42, nice and elevated. With no earnings looming, JP Morgan has earnings January 10th. So for me, JP Morgan becomes, at least on paper, a stock to trade. Now you might look at this and say, you know what, I'm going to get a little bit short here because I like to be a contrarian. It's at all-time highs, but I'm going to play it right down the middle and see how all the elections go and let the stock beat me and see what volatility does after the election and see what the stock market does after the election. The easiest thing for me to trade in this type of environment is something that has tight liquid markets. You can see here that markets are tight, two, three cents wide, maybe a nickel wide on these $3 options, and plenty of open interest. Plenty of open interest means there's going to be eyes uh, on the uh, stock when it moves. It's down $1.84 today. I'm going to play this right down the middle. I'm going to around the 20-ish delta option. I'm going to the 210 put and the 240 Call. They're both trading for a little over uh, two dollars. You can see here that this has about a dollar. I'm sorry, it has about one and a half long deltas. Eleven dollars in theta decay. My pop is 65 percent, and I am using 3,100 dollars in a margin account. You'll notice that my break even is right above. I like to see it on the other side of this line, typically, but right above the one standard deviation. You certainly can move this out a little bit more and collect less premium. But for me, I'm going with the 20-ish Delta classic Tasty Trade mechanics, Tasty Live mechanics that you can do on the Tasty Trade platform, whether you're in an IRA account or margin account, as long as you have the buying power. In a margin account, it's going to use a little over $3,100 in buying power. I was able to do this at $5.00 and 10 cents. Now, one of the reasons why I have not one and not two trades, the reason why I have two trades and not one trade like I usually do, is I was able to close my AVGO trade uh, last week uh, for a small profit. I was able to close my uh, NVIDIA trade uh, for basically a green scratch. What's a green scratch? Yeah, I took a losing trade and made a couple of dollars on it. Those both have earnings coming in November and December. I'm going to replace those with these two stocks that have no earnings looming. Again, theta decay of $11. I like to see my pop over 65%. I like to see the IV rank high. We've got high IV rank. I like to see the IVX five-day change uh, unchanged or at least up with no earnings looming. Uses $3,100. Classic here. My break-even is over 245 
My break even is just under 205. If you look here on the chart, uh, 205 is a number that we haven't really seen uh, since early in September. And again, it would be new highs to my upside. That's my first trade, a strangle in JP Morgan using around $3,100. My next trade for you is going to be in TSM. This is a stock that's been in the news lately. You can see here TSM is trading at $196 and change. My net change for the day is up $1.44. You can see here it's already had just about a $4 move from high to low. IVX five-day change basically unchanged down half a percentage point with no earnings looming. That's almost like being up in my book. And here you have a higher IV rank of 50. Let's compare the two trades real quickly if we can. TSM looks just like JP Morgan, not exactly on its highs, but close enough. What am I going to do in here too? I'm also going to use the same strategy. I'm going to go to December. We like to go closest to 45 days. I like there to be tight markets. You've got tight markets. I like there to be open interest. You've got a lot of open interest. Again, in times when you're looking to find trades, open interest and volume and tight markets is what you want to be in, at least in my uh, opinion. What am I going to do here? I'm going pretty classic here, but look at something. I'm, I'm almost going to be able to collect the same amount of credit and go further out of the money because the monthly implied volatility is higher in TSM than it is in JP Morgan. So what am I going to go to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to go to that that 16 delta, that one standard deviation kind of uh, range. I'm going to sell the 170 put. And I'm also going to sell the 230 call. Again, just classic delta neutral, 72% pop in here. I'm only using $1,900 in buying power instead of $3,100 in buying power. I was able to sell this at 483 uh, Again, earnings are on January 16th, so no earnings are looming. Uh, more of a delta neutral trade, although the other trade was only one and a half deltas long. I consider that delta neutral. Also, higher theta decay of 13 and a higher 72% pop. All things being equal, just because the numbers are a little bit better here, meaning my pop is higher, my theta decay is higher, my delta is more neutral, my buying power effect is $2,000 versus $3,100. If I had to choose between the two trades, because buying power is always a consideration, I probably like the TSM trade better than I like the JP Morgan trade. Um, my break even on here, you might be asking, just under 235 and just over 165, over the uh, standard deviation to the upside, just under the standard deviation uh, to the downside. Again, comparing the two trades, for me, just on a pure numbers basis, I have no idea how the trades are going to do, TSM seemed like, from a buying power and delta standpoint, theta decay standpoint, a better trade. You can always go uh, and see the follow page to see these trades before I even do this uh, podcast for you. All you got to do is click on Bob the Trader, and it'll it'll filter out all these other people like Tom and my son Nick. You don't need to see them, and even Tony from Mexico and. God forbid, Jim Schultz. Just get me up there. You'll see my two trades I did here today. I did the TSM trade after I did the JP Morgan trade. I always put a little bit of a, uh, something I'm doing in here. Classic strangle at 16 delta. JP Morgan, I did a delta neutral strangle using the 20 delta and high IVR. They're both around the same. You'll see today in Marvell, I had to roll up some puts. Uh, because the stock was going a little bit higher, fighting the good fight in Marvell. Doing the same thing in gold, rolling up some puts because, you know what, gold has been going nothing but higher. Here's the two trades I closed on the 25th. AVGO, I closed the trade. You can see it's my podcast trade. Two adjustments and a 50-cent profit before closing. And NVIDIA, NVIDIA was a worthy adversary. I think I had six different roll-ups and downs. If I had done nothing, I would have been down a full dollar or $100 uh, per contract on the NVIDIA trade. Trade, but I was able to close with a green scratch, a 25% profit, earnings looming in December. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my podcast. Please like and subscribe down at the bottom. And you know what else I really need you to do? I need you to open, move, transfer your account to Tasty Trade. It's how we keep the lights on here and take advantage of all of those props or those uh, uh, benefits that they give you for moving, transferring, bringing your account to Tasty Trade like sweet, sweet cash.